श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वॉट एवर वी डू और वॉट एवर वी डू नॉट डू प्रवृत्ति एंड निवृत्ति इज फॉर वॉट only one purpose like some people sleep up to 10 o'clock for the same purpose other people wake up early morning at 4 o'clock some people eat up to the nose other people observe fast for the same purpose some people keep sitting in one place don't go anywhere some people start running to reach nowhere and therefore they come back they call it jogging <laughs> so all these activities of life can be grouped into two one is getting involved in life through activities or indulgence and others are to withdraw from the life or from indulgence in this manner there are two channels of life pravritti and nivritti now what happens those who are withdrawn they are happy by themselves but those who are workaholics and active in life they become very miserable and angry come on do something see it is like this there was a huge lake and near that lake there was one lazy person like me he was sitting comfortably and with the fishing rod and when he gets two fish he stops and then he will come on the road side and hang that fish and sell one fish and whatever money he gets with the other fish he will go home and home is nearby a small cottage near the same lake make the fish nicely and uh, whatever he has bought with that one fish sell amount and eat and enjoy and sleep but one day it so happened there was one ceo you know ceo completely idiot officer <laughs> so one ceo from a multinational he came and he said hey what are you doing he said i am fishing how much you fish i said he said two only two why not more so he started telling his plans see you should fish more and sell more and then what will happen you will get more money very good then then you buy some boat fishing boat then you will get more fish and then you can get more money then then you employ the people give them job and earn a lot and then then you will have a nice cottage here on the side and you relax and enjoy people are working for you so this man said what i am doing now <laughs> you are approach is to enjoy the life first suffer i am already enjoying see friends these two types of people those who are involved in the world they don't like those who are quiet and those who are quiet they don't like the people involved in the world 
and thus both of them are trying to prove what we do is right but the right thing is it doesn't matter whether you get involved in the world or you withdraw from the world what matters is are you at peace with yourself or not that is important there are people who are sitting quiet doing meditation this meditation doing is the biggest joke for me in life meditation is a collective silent suffering without complaints so what for you are doing anything what is the goal like you know you are learning now asana pranayam what for asana you are learning to suffer silently pain here pain there pain. <laughs> no no you should sit only in padmasan it is okay when you are kids or you are from a circus but you are grasthas your bones have become worse than the cement concrete blocks and then you try to do that and then here there is a dislocation there is a dislocation and there is a pain see friends focus attention only on one thing that you remain happy not because of the world but in spite of the world suppose you are a husband suppose and you are happy why no my wife is very good then what is your contribution then if your wife is a terrible one and yet you are happy then you are a yogi <laughs> see our yoga sadhana is all comforts ic uc dc and then with a fat balance in the ic ic i bank and then we are happily sitting and suffering mm. lightly uh, miserably no so first principle bhagwan krishna says in bhagavad gita sec 5th uh, chapter see karmanam sanyasa and karma yoga nishresha karo ubhav nishreyas means what means the real good the absolute good that good which is not because of anything causeless happiness see our happiness is because of something so how it can be achieved both are equally essential in life we have to know how to drive the car and also know how to stop the car see i don't know if i told you once i was caught by police in us when i was driving being indian i jumped the red light because in india when we see the red light we get charged like a bull and we cross <laughs> so the police stopped me and he asked do you have driving license i said of course sir you should not talk to a police arrogantly you should say sir officer then only you can be saved so i showed him he said oh you have got indian uh, driving license yes why did you jump you have got a driving license you don't know the rules i said i know sir but see mine is a driving license it is not a stopping license and therefore i could not stop so although he was a police he understood the joke normally police people are their brain is migrated to patela <laughs> that is why they join that department there is who will join standing whole day in the traffic all kinds of pollution comes so he said hey man you made my day okay now next time don't do it <laughs> so when we talk about driving license it includes stopping of the car also exactly the same way life is a perfect balance we have to learn how to relax 
see in delhi when the red light comes it is written on the red light relax because when red light comes you become more angry of oh, oh god now only it has to come so life must have these two things we should have involvement in the life as well as we should have withdrawal ability from the life then we have learned yoga and the next step we also must know how much we should get in don't get involved beyond your capacity there was one person when i went to see him i reached his home he was not at home so after about half an hour he came on a scooter and he had a neck you know that dog collar neck like that he came i said hey young man he was not old he was hardly mid 40s i said what happened to your neck so i mean what to tell you i said have you done shirshasan beyond your limit oh god how do you know i said from this avatar <laughs> he said i was doing shirshasan for one hour i said have you studied bhagavad gita urdhva mula mad shakham ashwata now it is paining too much and the doctor told me the whole life i will have to put on this i said uh, first of all don't argue don't ask any question simply sit down in front of me he sat down and i did something to his head thank god there was a head left <laughs> and told him now don't put on that uh, belt it'll be all right then he became all right now he doesn't put on then he asked me swami ji what exactly happened i said what you have done is beyond your capacity we must know how much is our capacity never try to compete with others in your yoga practices this is what happens with many people you don't have to prove anything to anybody that yoga is good you don't you are not made for that in one of the batches here maybe about 10 15 years before there was some student from haryana and they demonstrated and what the demonstration was there was a long steel rod and he fixed it in the near the wall and then the other end he put it here and there his friend was standing and he was that other end of the rod is put near his throat and then he did the kumbhak and all people are watching and then that person got the uh, rod like his pushing in his throat and the rod got bent but nothing happened to him then everybody tacked it then second thing he did he laid down on the back and then on the chest they have put some uh, wooden plank and then uh, on that he uh, they have put one big rock and the other person came and with a hammer hammered it and the rock broke again clapping is this yoga tell me what do you want to prove to the world that yoga is great see friends don't get lost in those acrobatics i always feel patanjali must be turning in his grave come on i never meant it like that <laughs> you all have studied to some extent patanjali yoga darshan anywhere is it mentioned do these acrobatics this happens because we want to prove something to somebody that is not the right way of living so we don't have to prove anything to anybody now next point that is the way to be happy in life the next thing is 
we must not have anything to do with anybody whether they are eating vegetarian non vegetarian don't worry don't be obsessed you must be seeing these vegetarian people are very obsessed uh, i am not a non vegetarian their face is turning i am not non i am a vegetarian <laughs> so they make their face like a carrot <laughs> and worse than that these vegetarian the next person and that is also to be said in their style i am a vegan ha oh. how does it matter who is eating what that is not our business our business is we are at peace in every place with everyone under all conditions that is yoga you know bengalis eat non vegetarian so one bengali mother called me for dinner to her place and when i went there she knew i am a vegetarian so food was given properly nice then her son came very arrogant type and he came with the chicken and fish and all that and sat next to me so the mother got angry why did you come here why don't you eat over there you know you have to come on eat you only swami ji doesn't you know? and the whole atmosphere of dining hall was spoiled i said mama be cool don't get angry see i am not making him compulsory to be vegetarian and he is not compelling me to be non vegetarian so where is the problem the problem will be when he does not find a proper non vegetarian food and if he plucks my finger to eat then there is a problem <laughs> see don't try to improve anybody in this world the world is most beautiful but we want to improve the world see when we want to improve the world what we mean we have already evaluated the world the world is bad the one who calls others as bad is he good himself think <coughs> don't try to improve the world then what is to be done if you have to serve the world similarly don't have that funny thing called as compassion i have got great compassion for the people poor people see when you have compassion you look down upon them see when i see the poor people hungry they don't have food i feel so bad and when you say this thing when your stomach is so full that you can't even breathe properly <laughs> and then you have this compassion see friends compassion is a negative trend of mind if you have to love and not by writing i love you i love you no 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 those who give in writing love they are dumb people they are no love See, their their love is digital love. <laughs> See, I get these useless things every day. Finally, when I get tired, I block that number. Early morning, Swamiji, I love you. Swamiji, happy birthday. My day becomes miserable, not happy when I receive that. See, friends. don't have those things if you have to love and love expresses as number 1 tolerance number 2 you see beauty in ugliness then you for you the love is not a verb then love is an experience see the difference between love as an experience and love as a verb a boy and a girl they love each other that is called as love as a verb i love him i love her so their love is a action it is a verb then whenever you do any action it will end 
No action is com continuous. Therefore, these people, when they love and they call it themselves, Swamiji, one young couple came, couple, uh, friend, a boy, girlfriend came. Swamiji, please bless us. So what for? We have fallen in love. So I started, may I help you? <laughs> because you have fallen. That love which makes you fall is the abnormality of mind. See, don't fall in love, rise in love. See, and when can we rise in love? Only when we understand the difference between love as a verb and love as a noun. So when you love the world, you don't do love. It will never end. If you do, it will end. Like, you know, all the love marriages ultimately break. See? Then what is the meaning of love as an experience, love as a word, as a noun? What is the meaning? Now understand this way. I, as a boy, love a girl and suffer because I have fallen in love. Now, I, as a mother, do not love my child as a verb. Then, I have love for my child. And therefore, the mother who has love for the child, she doesn't fall in love, but she rises in love. See? So love the world. You will rise in love. And what is this rise in the love? Be very attentive. See, I'll tell you one or two examples. The foolishness of the child is appreciated by the mother as wisdom. Many mothers, they bring their child. So, I mean, he, my Dabbo is so intelligent, you know, he asks many questions, even I cannot reply. So I asked that mother, I said, Amma, do you know the real uh, thing behind this? Those who ask questions, they are dumb. Those who answer questions, they are wise. Do you mean my son is dumb? I said, I didn't say that. <laughs> But when the child goes on asking all foolish questions, the mother feels, my son is very intelligent. One mother like this, she told me, Swamiji, my son doesn't go to school. He was six years or seven, six years. Reason being, he has asked me one question. Nobody could answer that question. So what was the question? Question was, he was asking, when we tell him, write A like this for apple. So he will ask a question, why A is written like this? Nobody can answer. He is so intelligent, you know. He said, unless you reply this question, I will not study. And therefore he is not going to school. I said, okay, we will sort it out. Let me finish my lunch. After I finish my lunch, after lunch I go to sleep. So, I took that child in my room, I said, close it and don't worry, I am not going to kill your child, okay? So, I lied down there and then I said, hey, you watch me how I sleep. Fifteen minutes minimum. So, he was um, doing something or the other and I got up after fifteen minutes, then I told him, I said, hey, now let us start learning. Take the paper and pen, write A for apple. He took out the trump card, not from USA, but from his... <laughs> you know the trump card? So, he took out and he said, Swamiji, why A is written like this? Intelligent question. So, I showed him my hand. I said, do you see my hand? He said, yes. A is written like this only. If A is not written like this, this hand will come down with a speed of 5,000 kilometers per second. <laughs> and it will land on your face. <laughs> Do you know? 
So, why A is written like this? Okay. <laughs> Logic. And then I told him, I said, hey, what is your uh, daddy's name? His name is Ram. I said, let us write his name. So, I told him, write R and A, how does A we write? Oh, A, you know, very good. <laughs> and M, so see, this is your father's name, R-A-M. See, you know everything. People tell that you don't know anything. You are a very intelligent boy. Okay, now what is your mother's name? Uh, my mother's name is Uma. I said, very good. Now you write, U, M, you know, your father's name, R-A-M, the same M. Okay, M. And again, A has come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, he wrote that. And then, I said, now let us write your name. He wrote his name also. I said, now, pretend as if you don't know anything. And I will not talk anything. When we go outside and take a cup of tea, that time you start playing, but in that playing, you start writing your daddy's name and your mom's name and your name and see the reaction. And we have planned properly and we went as if nothing has happened. And then he was doing like this writing and his mother, father were watching. And when they saw, hey, you wrote my name? Of course, I know. Then he wrote his mother's name. She said, you wrote my name also? Yes. Not only, but I can write my name also. Slowly, that logic from his head has disappeared. Don't get lost in arguments and logic. Number one. But for the mother, these stupid questions were glorified as he is very intelligent. Because she is a mother. I being not a mother, I made him straight. See? Now, second example. Whatever may be the dirty things of the child, the mother likes it. Mother is not hating the child. See? One example. One day after my lecture was over, I was sitting like this. This happened in Bombay. And one young mother, first time, the child was about uh, eight months or so. She was planning to come and meet me but could not meet. And finally she came. She said, Swamiji, I had decided to come today. So when everybody was through doing namaskar, then she came and she gave her child in my lap. Like people give Dakshina, so she gave me the child in the lap. I said, Mama, you are great. He said, what great Swamiji? People give only money. Somebody give thousand, two thousand, five thousand. But you have given your child as Dakshina. Thank you so much. Now I will make him a Swami. <laughs> she started crying. No, no Swamiji. I said, look here. You cannot take it back. Once you give to somebody, you say, no, no, you can't. So she was becoming so serious and miserable and I was playing fool with her and sometimes talking to the child. But after some time, the child started emitting fragrance. <laughs> he did what he should not have done. And when the dirty smell and the sound, you know, therapy, when it was coming out, I said, Oh God, he has done that dirty thing. Then I said, Hey, take your useless child. What do you think? I am a bathroom or what? Take him away. <laughs> when I said like this, she was so happy. Swamiji, you are really great. I said, what great? Last three days he has not gone. <laughs> now look at that mother. Even that dirty thing meant something good for the mother. Because she has love for the child. See, friends, when we love the world as a verb, we will expect things in return. See? What is the, dif what is the meaning of debt? 
So the child answered. Date means when you have a date, there is a girlfriend with you. When you have got a, a date in the court, you have got a lawyer with you. Both are dates, isn't it? Therefore, let us have this clear understanding. Let us have pure love for the whole world. Now the meaning of love is, number one, no complaints, number two, no expectations, number three, whatever we do in this world, nobody needs it. It is our need that we do. Whenever you do anything, because it is your need, you will have humility, you will have submission, you will feel obliged. They have given me opportunity to serve. But normally what we think is, I am doing so much for him, what he did for me. Then you are getting into love as an action, not as an experience. See? This has to be opened up in life. It is for this purpose. Patanjali has told, this eight limbs, Ashtanga Sadhana. See? There are three stages through which the seeker has to go. Initially, when a child is born, he requires many supports to learn how to walk. When he is little grown up, then he can start riding a bicycle with the help of somebody. And when he is fully grown up, then he doesn't require anybody. He can drive with a motorcycle and create accidents. In the same manner, for initial seeker, there are eight limbs told in Patanjali Yoga Darshan. Yama, Niyama, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyar, Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi. So many supports. Now these supports must be taken in the right spirit. See? The first support is our life should be such that we are not a problem to the world and the world is not taken as a problem by us. Then you will be at peace with yourself. See? Second thing. We are a problem to ourselves. So, the second is, Niyama, we should not be a problem to ourselves. When we are a problem to ourselves, generously we distribute the problem to others. See? So, whenever we are alone, hey, you are, I am getting bored, let us go to somebody's place and disturb him. No! Try to spend time with yourself without getting bored. That is a real spiritual practice, yoga. See? Then comes asana. Asana is this simple thing. Asana is you are ever cheerful and happy. Even if somebody asks you a question by mistake, how are you? Don't tell the truth. This I learnt from one um, old Punjabi lady in Delhi. I went to their house. She was very old, 85, not out. <laughs> so, I casually went to her and said, uh, Amma, how are you? Oh, Swamiji, you have come, please sit down. So, I had to sit down. Then she started her story. This morning, when I got out of the bed, there was an ankle twist and there was such an excruciating pain and the pain started migrating through the calf muscles. It came to the knee and the knee also started and her description was so live, I started getting pain over. <laughs> Don't distribute your pains to others. This is yoga. We have to learn to accept our life as it is given to us. Don't talk about our miseries to anybody in this world. If you have to talk, talk to someone who is evolved, a teacher, a guru. But normally what we do, one husband, miserable, 
he goes talks to another husband equally miserable <laughs> so one husband went and told his other miserable husband see my friend i am so disgusted with my wife every evening after we finish food at home i have to go to the hotel and take a supper because she cooks so horrible food you cannot eat do you think the other husband will be quiet he said nothing why when i go home she doesn't take anything oh she is so dedicated to you know unless i cook food is not available <laughs> so both of them are competing with their miseries don't talk your miseries to another miserable person see is very these are simple facts of life this is not something great i am telling you real greatness is when you take care of small things it's how simple it is so in this manner when you have decided not to talk about your problems to others but somebody does a mistake and ask you how you are don't tell the truth then fire what you fire i am on the top of the world but you should carry the meaning one girl used to come with me for a lecture one day her friend came so they were sitting back side then she said swami ji this is my friend i said hey friend how are you hmm i said is the reply hmm. are you a buffalo or a dog or one hmm. talk properly how are you um i said okay i'll teach you how to reply when i'll ask you a question how are you you should say i am on the top of the world okay um and then i ask hey how are you i am on the top of the world <laughs> our words must carry the meaning is it not So when anybody asks you a question, fire! I am on the top of the world. He should start getting up there. <laughs> Then that is life. See, in this manner, when you are leading your life, take care of this asana, Miss Thira Sukham. Friends, don't we like when somebody is happy? We do. Uh, we like a person who is happy to be friendly with. If somebody is all the time miserable, cranky, the moment such a person comes, we run away. Who wants to know the miseries? We have got sufficient. We don't want to import, download, free download. No. <laughs> don't talk your miseries to anybody in life. Yama niyama asan, so stira sukham, and to maintain this poise steady. don't get lost in small little things we are all miserable never because of big things we are miserable because of small things See, this morning i got i never got a cup of tea are daridri if you have to be <laughs> if you have to be miserable be miserable for something standard you have to discover these simple things we are all miserable because of small little things none of us is miserable hey, i could not become the president of united states <laughs> we are not miserable for that our misery is i did not get hot water in the bathroom as if you are taking bath <laughs> see friends then you will remain steadily happy that is asan this is another important principle throughout the world <coughs> yoga means only twisting the body which is wrong if you are following patanjali how many sutras are for the yoga asana only two if it was really very important he would have given more elaborate on that He has given elaborate thing that we don't practice. 
he has given elaborate on yama niyam and following yama niyam is called like the maha vratam doing asana is not a maha vratam see so real meaning of asana is sthira sukham sthira is an adjective sukha is a bliss so steady bliss it doesn't matter in what posture you are sitting you sit in padmasan and suffer silently that is not asana doesn't matter what asana you sit what important you are at peace or not sthira sukham asana and that can happen ananta samapatti bhyam when we rise above small little things in a, in this hall suppose there is somewhere some agarbatti or some good smell it will pervade the whole hall if there is some dead rat the bad smell will be over the whole hall but if you go in the open space let the whole world rot there won't be any bad smell in the total space in the same manner when we are lost in the small little things life starts stinking when you merge in the totality then all the stinks disappear <coughs> that is ananta samapatti bhya then comes your pranayam pranayam is let us have a perfect balance between involvement and withdrawal both are important in life only getting activity and getting tired and dying is no good and not doing anything at all is equally not good then how to live the answer is given by isha vasya upanishad where it is said kurvan neveha karmani jiji visheshatakam sama evam tvai nare nanya tyotasti karma na lipyate nare do not add number of years to your life then add life to every moment of your existence See? longevity is occurs what will you do by living long see don't have that wrong notion long life is a blessing it is a disgust is a most miserable existence see but we normally if you do this thing you will live long and make everybody suffer around you one day in one medical college in coimbatore that owner of that huge hospital he is to come for my lectures and they have to inaugurate one new department so they invited me so when you please come and inaugurate so i went there a huge hall like this many people about 2000 people sitting and big dais and uh, people doctors were invited from usa europe and they were presenting their slide show and giving the talk and i do not know what is the meaning of geriatrics because i am not a medical student but we are supposed to know everything but i also pretended as if i know everything like you are pretending i was also pretending as if listening <laughs> so the first doctor came and he started presenting his slide show this is my house so i thought okay geriatrics means it is the construction department <laughs> then the second slide came this is my dog okay oh geriatrics means the dog department then third slide this is my wife I said, "What is this department?" <laughs> Then I realized the slides were presented in order of importance. First important thing, house. Second important thing, dog. And the third was the wife. And it goes on and on. And after three, four people talk, then I came to realize. Geriatrics department is a department of the oldies, so all old people go to that department. Like children's specialist, ladies' specialist, old people. 
Then they say, Swamiji, you have to lead the lamb and cut the ribbon. I said, am I allowed to talk? He says, of course, you please bless us. Then I said, you doctors are responsible for changing the demography of the world. They never expected this thing from me. I said, in this world, the whole population structure has changed. Not because more children are born, but because old people are refusing to die. And you are responsible for them. Earlier days, old people used to die. Now, people don't die. Kali Yuga has come. And what you talk about? Live long for what? See, friends, unless we have something higher to look forward to, simply maintaining the body for a longer period of time cannot be the goal of life. See, the other day I went to uh, Tokyo and they took me one uh, um, this um, Red Cross hospital and that was a hospice, terminally ill patients are there. And they asked me to speak to the nurses, the doctors and tell them how to deal with the people who bring their patient and admit here. What should we talk to them? Because it is very difficult what to tell them. And it is a big problem. Please advise us. So, now that society where spirituality is zero, what can you talk to them? But if you take in our country, when some old people we see, they are lying down, we tell them, look here, now, and this one place it has helped that lady so much. She was terminally ill, cancer, and a young lady, maybe about 42, 43. She was a bank officer. So when I went to see her, she said, Swamiji, it is clear now I am going to die and I have no worry about it. My children will take care of themselves, my husband will take care of them. Now you tell me, at this moment, what I am supposed to do? Dying I am definitely. But how to die? Then I told her, I said, Mama, you are great. Now, just listen to me. When you breathe in, you say, Hari in your mind. And when you breathe out, you say, Om, the breathe and out comes. And like that, she was lying on the bed and she started doing this Ajapa Ajapa. And within a period of two, three, four days, she became so calm and quiet. Earlier there was a lot of pain. They had to put the patches of this morphine or give injections, but nothing she required. Because, because of this, constantly focusing attention on something higher, she has already started detaching herself from the body, then again I went after 15 days to see her. I said, Mama, how are you? She said, Swamiji, as I see you, I can see my body. The body is lying on the bed and I have no problem. And that time she was telling her husband and her son, look here, I am not dying. I am already out of the body. So, I will not be available to you because for availability, body is the medium. You can imagine. And then she said, now you take care of yourself. This is what life is. We come here to meet together, we depart. We came from nowhere, we go nowhere. Don't worry, don't cry. And with this body, do whatever you like. You want to give it to the hospital, give it to the hospital. You want to donate the organ, donate the organ. You want to burn it, you burn it. I have already discarded the body. How much at peace? The reason being this simple thing. But where there is no spiritual background, what they will do? Okay, we will put the ventilator and we will put this type of tube, this type of tube. And then the 
पीपल हु आर अटेंडिंग दिस हैपन्ड इन बॉम्बे दे कॉल मी स्वामी जी वी कॉन्ट सी हर पेन शी वॉज इन कोमा दैट ओल्ड लेडी यू प्लीज ब्लेस हर नो वट कैन आई ब्लेस ए कोमा टू ओल्ड लेडी शुड आई से शी शुड रिवाइव और शुड आई से शी शुड डाय सो आई हैव प्लेड माई रोल ओनली ड्रामा took her hand in my hand put my hand on her hand and kissed my hand a dying hand who will touch and after that over i went third day that man came and said swami ji you are great you came that day to see our grandmother now my heart started coming out of the chest and going <laughs> oh, what happened if she survived he has come to kill me and if she died she died because of my blessings imagine so he said we could not see her miseries by god's grace and your blessing she is liberated from the pain i said hey man don't cheat yourself she was not in pain a person who is in coma is never in pain then the one who has to pay the bills he is in pain Every day five thousand, ten thousand rupees you have to pay to the nurse, and then you are only waiting. A marti ka hai. Therefore, long life cannot be the goal of life. Instead of making life live hundred years, no, live every moment hundred percent. That is the meaning. Shadagam sama. कुरवन ने वे है कर्माणी जी जी विशेष शतकम समा इफ यू सी द नॉर्मल ट्रांसलेशन इन द बुक्स देर इट इज एन डूइंग योर ड्यूटी डिजायर टू लिव फॉर हंड्रेड इयर्स आई डिस एग्री विथ इट नो डू योर ड्यूटी एंड लिव एवरी मोमेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट वेन एवर यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट यू आर हैप्पी सी एंड वेन एवर यू आर हैप्पी यू आर इन द प्रेजेंट can you laugh yesterday you cannot can you laugh tomorrow you cannot whenever you laugh whenever you are happy you are now see let's do an experiment there was one boy in uh, delhi and delhi people are known for driving the vehicles rough so he was riding his motorcycle and he crossed the red light and the police caught him and scolded him stop here he said didn't you see the red light he said yes sir i have seen then why did you cross no i didn't see you <laughs> at this moment those who understood the joke and those who laughed that time you were man or woman that time you were rich or poor that time you were indian or non indian you were only happy and that time it was neither 2017 nor it was 2018 everything disappears when you are happy and to remain happy don't dig your past and bring the dead bodies in front of the people this is what the old people do and therefore the youngster run away from the old when anything is happening with the youngsters oldly like me will go oh when we were children who is interested in your past <laughs> but old people have no future now what future i have got no future youngsters have at all the future but oldies have only peanuts mm. in their pockets how can they distribute chocolates see therefore mm. being happy means remain utterly in the present and to remain in the present try these two things do not talk about your past to anybody because whenever we talk to others we talk only our past this i learned in one of my journey by train i was sitting in my seat a berth 
and one elderly man came and sat in front of me and he said oh i am happy now we can spend nice time 18 hours we can talk i said my god <laughs> now this fellow is going to eat my head so like a terrorist takes out a gun from his pocket to kill somebody i took out my rosary which i use for doing the japa i took it out and i told him sir in travel i chant lord's name this is my rule therefore i will not talk excuse me but you can tell me about yourself and then he started if you want to make any old person happy ask them about their past but don't listen <laughs> and they want only to talk they keep on talking so he started my grandfather used to be in kabul that means i had to listen now three generations 3g <laughs> and this happened that happened and they came to pakistan they went to peshawar then they failed then they came to karachi karachi they could not do they came to rachi rachi is a mental hospital <laughs> they came to rachi and from there also they got frustrated then they came to usa usa is ullas nagar sindhi association <laughs> and then i got their married and i had children this thing that thing and he was telling his whole story step by step and in between when i used to see that his spirit is going down i used to say hmm then what about again he will revive and is the continued one after another finally he came then my children told papa you go to delhi this bombay weather is very humid it doesn't suit you therefore they put me in this train really then what happened then uh, you asked me to talk about me i was talking really then what happened <laughs> see friends the moment you come in the present you have nothing to talk this experience is god realization you are not doing anything you are not done anything you will not do anything all spiritual practices a process of undoing it is not doing something it is not becoming divine it is unbecoming whatever we have become till date it is not becoming someone special but losing all the speciality and being commoner than the commonest we are already carrying a huge burden of speciality on our head in addition to that we add one more i am spiritual drop all that then only you can laugh those who think they cannot laugh and those who laugh they don't think try to think and laugh you cannot relax 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 you have nothing to achieve in this world you are perfect discover your own perfection don't run after the happiness in this world you are the source of all happiness that happiness is covered by 
the tarpaulin of foolishness. Remove that tarpaulin and be the source of happiness to everyone in this world. I did it, you do, or you may go your way, I go my way. This is the secret of being happy. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Pyonamaha Harihi Om